Good morning. It's six fifteen. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I'm still really tired. You know when your body just feels like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically exhausted? Physically from cycling. <clears throat> Alright. Off to work. Literally, like I prayed to God this morning. I'm like, God, I'm so tired, so weary, so stressed. Just give me a good day. <coughs> and you know how God does what's um, best for you, not what you like. He, he gives you what you need, not what you want. And so it's funny because he gave like today's instance was exactly that. I asked for like, give me an easy day at work, give me a peaceful day. And like, literally, it was the opposite of that. It was like busy, 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 back and back to forth, like back and back. It's crazy that. Like, I didn't even have a break. I, this is probably the only break I've had alone to actually, like, okay, okay. Now what, you know? Um, so, the reason why I bring that up is because, but I realized it was much needed because it was distracting me. Distracting me from the fact that life is tough right now, you know? Um, I mean, when is life not tough? I feel like we get our mountain highs for, like, two days and then boom another trial God puts you in what was I saying what I'm trying to say is that um it was a really good day because one I was distracted two Tim and G Gabe was here and I really get along really well with Gabe and um we were like just making jokes like half the time but it's cool it's cool oh another customer you can watch me make a drink all right he's on his way <laughs> gotta go I tell you what's going on um but it's such a long story i don't want to bore you with the details but i will find a time to tell you but until now you don't know the details and you all you know is that i'm going to the hospital to see my grandfather why well there's a specific reason why he's in the hospital it has to do with god i mean it doesn't have anything to do with god so yeah i need to pick up sky let him out let him pee drop him off at Vanessa's because Vanessa is sick. Vanessa's my little sister, she's sick and people are driving really slow because it's raining. I don't know if y'all can tell, but look at the rain. It's so pretty. Raindrops, raindrops. Oh, package. Nice, love receiving packages. Especially if it's Amazon Prime. So this is part of my favorite part of the day. It's my favorite part of the day because You'll see why. I'll show you in a second. But it's my favorite part of the day. <gasps> Handsome. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to be doing the advent calendar for day number two. All right. All righty then. Look what it says. Can you do a Christmas dance? I can imagine Mariah Carey's song playing. One, two, three, four. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hmm. 
it is a what is this i don't know what this is so i know i said in the last vlog months that i was gonna do advent calendar for Jesus' story on my phone there's like a picture i showed you guys i didn't do it last night because i got caught up in the hospital but i'm gonna have some time at the hospital so i'm probably gonna do day one and two over the hospital and now i just have to pack up and head out and see you guys later hello can i come in can i come in His favorite friend. His favorite. Look, he dropped his toy. Oh, really? Can Sky have one? His breath stings. So cute. I keep forgetting how cute he is. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die right now. I, I wish you could see how I just yeah. So what's wrong with you? Cold. I'm Not the flu, right? It's a cold. From what? Like, how'd you get it? Yeah, a lot of people are falling asleep. Oh my goodness, so cute. I this guy always puts his entire head on top of him. It's like, nope, you're not getting up. Truly the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna leave Sky here until like 7 p.m. Sky, stay. Okay, I'm single now. Oh, what happened? She broke up with me. Oh, they're coming to the house. Oh, they're coming to the house. The corrupt will lose their lives, the dishonest will be gone for good. Dang, that's deep. <laughs> I'm in the hospital right now, just doing what I said I was going to do, read Proverbs, and um, I didn't get a chance to do the story of Jesus, which, um, so we should do that, but what I got from Proverbs 2 today is that we need to make our priorities straight, and that God is a God of knowledge, and that if you ask for knowledge, He will give you that, if you ask for wisdom, He will give you wisdom, and so take that to heart. And here's why, God gives out wisdom freely. Mm-hmm. So it's a Christmas tree, and on the very top is day one. It goes all the way down to day 24. And it basically, um, it's different Bible verses of telling stories of Jesus Christ. All right, this is Isaiah 9, verse six to seven. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Hmm, I like that. I like that he is the Prince of Peace. 
Okay, so that was day one that I missed. Now going on to day number two. A Luke 2 verse 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in the Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in the cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. That was the birth of Jesus. That's so cool. Oh look what's playing. Well, it's not important what they think. This is something I really want you to do for me for. I want to keep the secret. Will you do that? Please? Okay, Dad. Alright. Great. Santa Anyways guys, it's about 8 p.m. Without making this vlog too long, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, if you're watching, just be praying, I guess. For my grandfather. Yeah. He's doing well today though. It's just a really tough time right now. Oh, I'm ending it on a sad note. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to be like fake. <laughs> Try to be as genuine as possible. Um, it is tough having a family member in the hospital, but I gotta stay strong. And I mean, I think there's joy in this trial because of Jesus and there's purpose. And so that gives me hope. All right, we'll see you guys in the next vlog, day three. Thank you for watching day two. Bye. All right, I'm Wong.